called for security detail. We need to get this sample to Dr. Celeste or Jeffrey Daniels on the 38th floor immediately. I can do that. Please, be careful. This is an organic sample from Proxima B. We cannot risk any contamination with Earth particulates. Organic sample from Proxima B. We won't know what they are until they run the test. But you clearly understand how serious this is and how important it is that these make it to their destination quickly, securely, and safely. Of course. Right away. Dr. Daniels? Your sample's from Proxima B, sir. Celeste. Hey. Is that what I think it is? It is. Direct from the closest exoplanet, a mere four light years away, I bring you biosamples from Proxima B. Excellent. What are you doing? Hey, we should sequence the genome first. You're jumping ahead. Ease up, sweetheart. Not your sweetheart anymore. Don't you want to see what we got? Amazing. Jeffrey, this looks like... life. Yeah, real funny. No, seriously. What? Actual life from another planet. Oh, that's unbelievable. Instead of a cellular structure, this looks like a mechanical structural construct. The spectrometer is showing a carbon-based biological signature. It is organic. Right, okay, but it's acting like a machine. Like nanobots, tiny machines working together to create larger machines. I know what nanobots are. Of course you do. You know everything. Mm. All I'm saying is it's exhibiting qualities of both. Organics and nanobots. Mm -hmm. Didn't Tufts develop something like this? But this is... This is far more advanced. Those were very basic. The, the, the holy grail for ONBs is to work off of organic material to build more ONBs. Like imagine feeding garbage to a sample of ONBs to build more complex machines. I wonder. I'm gonna take this sample and test it in the CRISPR where we should have started. Well, that's your opinion. I'm gonna take my sample and test it in the mass spectrometer where I can check its chemical identity. The vial broke. Biohazard protocol, now. Celeste, look. The sample's grown to 10 times its size. Activate clean room protocol, now. Go. Examining samples from Proxima B, he shattered the vial and cut his finger. Does he need medical assistance? Medical assistance. He needs to be more careful, especially with untested... It was untested. my fault. I bumped into him. I should have been more careful. A cut and broken vial doesn't lead to the activation of a clean room protocol. What led to that decision? Sample. Whatever it was. 
seemed to ingest his blood and just started expanding. Expanding? Ten times its size, at least. Let's confirm the clean room protocol did what it was supposed to do. We'll confirm the situation is safe. Lock the door behind us. We'll signal when to let us back out. If we're green across the board, we'll call in the medical team. From there, they can extract any organic material that might have survived. They'll perform an autopsy, and maybe we'll get to the bottom of this thing. Of course. Sign of movement. Looks good so far. like it's been contained. You know, let's get the med team in here, get this clean. Ah! Ah! Shoot it! Shoot it! Ah! I did it! It's all over you! I know! Shoot it already! You can't get out! Ah! Director, prepare evacuation. Right. We cannot let this escape. An Alpha Bio Level 1 lockdown has been initiated on Level 30. That's Celeste Lab. Confirm containment. Lockdown successful. Containment confirmed. Celeste Lab is on level 30. Find it for me, please, Diane. That's the only ONV sample, correct? It's contained? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's get a hold of my dad. Go, 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 go. Central Command. Director, I have Celeste on the comm link. Celeste, are you all right? We have a level four biosafety concern at Lab 36. Celeste, that's a mandatory quarantine until the alert group can get there. I know, Dad. No choice. What's the situation? Well, studying a, a sample from Proxima B, we encountered an extremely aggressive organism of organic nanobots. We lost two first responders. They were completely devoured by the OMBs. You're saying you've made first contact? Yes. However, after ingesting organic material, transmuted itself into a spores-like structure that swarmed the lab, ingesting all organics. We're lucky we got out before it expanded. That could have been us. For our safety, we had to initiate the clean room protocol. Understood. I'm glad you're safe. After quarantine and decon the lab, we'll see if we can retrieve any remaining samples. No, Dad, you don't understand. Protocol locked down the lab, but it didn't get rid of what's in there. They're still alive. Celeste, that reaches 1,000 degrees Kelvin. Proxima B has an orbit very close to its star. And it encounters bouts of extreme ultraviolet radiation, hundreds of times greater than Earth from the sun, and perhaps giving this life form some inherent heat resistance. So we're dealing with an extremophile biology that is tough to kill. What's the total amount of organic input received by the ONB? <sighs> Rough estimate. 145 to 150 kilograms of organic fluid and solids combined. 
Estimate growth? From microscopic to about three kilos of mass in a matter of minutes. Considering the small amount of organic material consumed versus the instantaneous and exponential growth, if that's allowed free access to the Earth's environment. Celeste, I'm sending an alien life emergency response team to you immediately. Copy that. Wait here until alert arrives. No, wait, 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 wait. I don't like this at all. If the organism is trapped in the lab, just leave now. I can't leave, Dad. It's protocol. Your protocol. My protocol? You're my daughter, Celeste. I know. But I'll still be your daughter when all of this is over. Stay safe. I'm sending the alert team immediately. And Dad. Thanks. For everything. Director Storm, 11385EB. Deploy alert extraction on level 30 of Dr. Celeste and Jeffrey Daniels ASAP. Confirm. Roger. Understood. Tell you, initiate evacuation of X Lab. Get me Washington on the line, please. Yes, sir. Initiating X Lab wide evacuation. Copy that, Talia. I'll stay on the floor, do a sweep, and ensure everyone's safety until alert gets here. Lab-wide evacuation is active, and I have General Bennett on the line. Thank you. General Bennett. What can I do for you, Edward? Joe, we believe we made first contact with an alien life form. We've initiated an Alpha-1 bio lockdown to contain its aggressive nature. I want you looped in. First contact? From where? Well, the sample was returned from Proxima B. It was being examined by my daughter and her husband. Well, it's her ex-husband now. It is presently contained, but it is aggressive, and I wanted you to be aware. I'll alert the Joint Chiefs and the National Guard, trusting you and your team to uh, keep it contained down there at X-Lab, OK? You keep me posted. Where is the evac team? I want them inside the building now. That's a pretty black and white view, Jeffrey. No, it's the practical path. It is. But this is first contact with an alien life form. It's more complicated than that, is it? Celeste, we don't know what it's capable of. Exactly. And even if we could kill them, how? You're right. I thought you said they were in there. They are. Well, the swarm is gone. What? Oh, is that possible? I don't know. Did they escape through the conduits or the vents or something like no, that? No, 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 no. All ways out are closed as soon as the clean room protocol is activated. They're trapped. There's no way out. Then where are they, Jeffrey? Maybe they return to their microscopic form and are still in there, but we can't see them. Let's run a bioscan of the lab and see if they're still in there. Nothing. The scan's clear. And yet they survived. Clean room protocol. Didn't affect the ONBs, but it did affect the lab. 
know what they are. What are you talking about? Come, come with me, I'll show you. All right, each lab is sealed inside an outer housing, creating an air gap. During the clean room protocol, a huge amount of pressure is created and blows through thousands of tiny perforations in the walls of the lab, releasing the expanding air and mitigating the explosion, right? You think they use these tiny perforations to escape the air gap? The labs are built for containment, but the OMBs might be able to get through the outer shells. Might? I don't know. I'm just an exobiologist. Well, how do we know for sure if they're escaping? Well, we can run a bio scan in the labs, but there's no scan for the hallways. Jeffrey, these are nanometer tiny. It would be like trying to find a gas leak. He's staring us in the face. What are you gonna do, wash them? No, no, you said it yourself. We're looking for a gas leak, right? Okay, hold this. Now the labs are locked down, so we don't have any equipment. Wait a second. All right, close it, give it a shake. But you can use this trick my dad taught me. You spray soapy water over the area in question, and you look for bubbles. And wherever you get bubbles, that's where your gas is leaking. Pretty elegant solution, Dr. Daniels. Thanks. Now, the alert should be here in a minute, but if the OMBs can escape, maybe we can know where they are. Bubbles mean the OMBs are coming through in that location. Got it. Bubbles equal flesh-eating nanobots. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. They're gonna be small and probably in one place. Let my dad know they escaped. Ow. 
Excited that you're here. I can't stay here. We have to go. They're right outside. We have to go. We have to run. We no, can't no, 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 Celeste, here. Celeste. The lab is sealed. You're okay. See? Look. Hello? Anyone out there? Dr. Celeste? Jeffrey? Hello? Now, your father contacted me when he realized that I was locked on the same level as you. He sent me to help. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help Jeffrey, all right? He appears unconscious. He has a weak pulse. Pupils. His pupils are dilated. So it's true. You've made first contact. Yes. And the, and the lacerations and, and damage to his skin are from the aliens. Yeah, they're flesh eating. If you're injured. Announce yourself. I can help you. You can't talk. Make a sound. Any sound. Reaction. He, he needs some epinephrine, adrenaline. Tell me everything you know about the aliens. They're hostile. But adrenaline. Is he infected? Well, we don't know that yet. His body is having a reaction to the attack, sending it into shock. So we need to counteract that before we can investigate and find out if he's infected. This should wake him up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. You're safe. It's okay. Oh, so Oh, God. Oh, God. I thought I lost you. Well, I'm right here. What about the Owen Beast? Are we safe here? Yeah, for the moment. We're sealed in, but make no mistake, we have to get out of here as fast as possible. Okay, let's make sure that there's no alien pathogens in Jeffrey, and we'll be able to make plans for our next move, all right? Uh, right over here, Jeffrey, come yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. Can you move? Yeah. Right over here. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh. Oh. Careful. Sit down. Careful. Oh. 
Uh, how did you uh, stop the OMBs from attacking? He used a fire extinguisher. I'm not even sure why it worked. Floral protein in the extinguisher, it, it's supposed to create a, a slick surface between the, the surface of the item and, and the fire. And it's the slick properties that probably cause the OMBs to slide right off of Jeffrey's skin. Here we go. Now, everybody here at X Lab has a medical record that's on file. I'm taking some blood. We will be comparing the properties of Jeffrey's blood to what's on the X Lab's files. If there's any difference, then we'll know if there's any alien pathogens. I'm going to use this probe with an electric current. It's going to send a current through the blood, and make it boil if there's an alien pathogen in there, as though they were being attacked. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait. Uh, what if he is infected? Well, if, if he's infected, then we'll be put on permanent quarantine until we're cleared by the NIH or WHO. And if we're not cleared, then. No reaction. Oh, thank goodness. And one more test to see if there's any lingering OMBs on the surface of your body. Step back. Okay. No lingering OMBs on the surface oh, of your body. All right. Let's see what kind of damage has been done. Why aren't you evacuated, Doc? Well, I was trapped on the same level as you were, and then I got a call from Director Storm letting me know and briefing me on the OMDs. After that, I said that I would do anything I could to help. But to be honest, the idea of seeing an actual Alien life form is very exciting. No, there's nothing exciting about this. Yeah, we have to figure out how to kill them and fast. Of course, of course. I'm sorry. Give me your hands. Shh, shh. What's that noise? It sounds like. Pull up the feed in the hallway. They're literally drilling a hole through the door. How much time do we have? We have about five minutes until I get through that door. How do we fight them? Do you have something in here? This is not a weapons lab. My work is not aggressive. It's to contain things. That's it. If we can't kill them now, we contain them until we figure out how to kill them. Show us your field generator. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. When it's fully operational, it's designed to contain highly charged particles during a, a fusion reaction. Oh, well, that's handy. We use the field to contain the OMBs. What do you think? Yeah, it's worth a try. Now, we're going to need to reestablish the cryogenic fluids that were turned off during the lockdown, and we're going to need massive amounts of power. I'm on it. So what do we need to do to get this operational? We need to uh, prime each one of the cryogenic pipes prior to the pre-chill sequence, but needs to be exact. 
I'll work on restoring the cryogenic lines and the power. The sooner we can get this up and running, the better. Okay, you need to use this chart. And be careful, because of the extremely cold temperatures needed for the superconducting magnets, all of the plastics were becoming too brittle, and I had to come up with a, a new insulator for all my wires. And because of that, if this isn't done precisely, none of this will work. Great. Here we go. Good. Valve normal. Next. Nominal. Next. No, no, no. I'm getting an abnormal reading. The pressure's building. Lock it down. It's not responding. I have no response here. What, what, what are you doing? It, it, it's going to blow. I'm adjusting all values to a neutral flow. What's the code for flow regulation? TK421. Regulate the flow from further down the supply line. Uh, release some pressure and we should be back on track. You did it! What in the world? Oh, Celeste taught me that trick. We had a similar issue back in XOB. Dr. Kirby, I have a problem. What's wrong? I've got the cryo and power lines up, but the boot-up hangs every time I try to initiate it. Well, the boot-up system and the subroutines, they're not supposed to work at the same time, but they're supposed to work together. Otherwise, they cancel each other out. Here, let me try this. Great. We're online. Get it powered up. Drilling's getting louder. It's going to take about five minutes. We don't have that long. What can we do in the next two minutes? Oh, maybe 60%. Great. We'll take it. Initiating startup sequence. Hey, Jeffrey, make sure that the mains are on and locked for the superconducting magnets. We got juice! Let's go. They're getting closer to breaching the door. No, we have a problem. At full power, the magnets had enough strength to direct the OMBs into the containment field and hold them. But at 60%, they're only able to contain them. So the field will hold them, but we need to lure them into the containment area? Exactly. If maybe we could use some sort of organic bait to set the trap. If we all got behind the containment area and our organic mass drew the OMBs from the entrance to there, and then when they were in the containment field, we turned on the generator and we could trap them. You two should hide. I'll act as bait. That's sweet, but stupid. No, he's right. We have to get together. We cannot let the aliens split up. It has to be all of us. The safest place would be behind the containment area, and that's where we'll be. Agreed? Agreed. Yeah. All right, let's get to our station. Ready to activate the containment field. Come and get us! Is everybody all right? We did it. We did. Can't believe I'm looking at aliens. I'm gonna make sure our power levels are solid. I'll check the cryogenic flow. are stable. Valves look good. X-Lab, evacuation complete. Great. Now, where's that evac team? Oh, your dad ordered it. I'm sure they're on their way. Hey, Doc. You said you had to use a different insulator for the wiring because the plastic was too brittle? Yes, the uh, petroleum plastic wasn't working, so I replaced them all with plastics derived from soybeans. So 
soybeans. Yes. The OMBs are eating right through it. They're gonna short out the force field. Run! Run! Design is so elegant. Bennett is on his way from Washington and should be arriving soon. Good. Celeste? Teddy! You're safe. Everything's gonna be all right now. We lost Dr. Kirby. What happened? It was horrible. We weren't able to kill the ONBs. We were able to push them back and reactivate the bio lockdown. Right now, they're trapped on level 30. Okay, you two go to sick bay. Come on. No, that can wait. We need to kill them. She's right. They need to be stopped now. We're in agreement on this. They have to be destroyed, but until we know how to kill them, we have to contain them. So where were they last? By the north elevator shafts. There. What are they doing? I can't eat it. Wait, they're on the side. The USB port zoom in on that? Are they trying to interface with the computer system? Tell you. Scan the network. See if they've breached the system. Yeah, even if they could interface with the hardware, how could they speak to it? I doubt they know C++. No, but all code is binary. Not just on Earth, everywhere. They can brute force a mechanical software attack and gain access. Sir, the ONBs have gained access to the valve flow control subsystem and the root directory. Firewolf. Ineffectual. Silo all systems now. Siloing all systems. Done. The breach has been contained to the HVAC control system. The rest of our computer system should be safe. If they control the HVAC, that means that they can gain access to the entire facility through the venting system. Override, shut down all vents. We've been locked out of the HVAC system. I, I can't shut them down. All right, all right, we can't shut them down from here, but we can manually from the sub-basement under level 30. Okay, look. We can shut them down manually, I get it, that's my job, but what I don't understand is, why don't we just evacuate everybody here and nuke this place? Because, as I told you, we don't understand their biology, we don't understand the threat. If we nuke them, it could create an even bigger problem. We have to contain them, study them, and find their weakness. Copy that, okay? We shut it down manually. And retrieve a sample. Wait, what? You said it, Dad. We need to study them. They're gonna be on level 30. They can collect a sample while they're there. And how? With a decontamination wand from the hangar. Okay, copy that. We shut it down manually. Keep the ONBs from escaping. And get a sample. I'll need to go, too. What? Why? Even though we can shut off the valve manually, I'll need to gain access to the terminal at the valve write code so that they can't regain control. He's right. Okay, well then I'm gonna stay here and help you avoid them. Sounds like a plan. I'll be able to see things you guys can't, so please, listen. Always. Jeffrey, this is life and death. I will. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Wish you were a better liar. 
You know, if this all works out, maybe we could... Access to the sub-basement is down the main corridor. Then turn right at the intersection. There you'll find an access door to the sub-basement. Copy that. Jeffrey, do you have the decontamination wand for the sample? I do. Also, since we don't know how the ONVs perceive the surroundings, stay out of sight and be as quiet as possible. Silent and invisible. open. I can get the sample now. No, we can't risk it. We shut the HVAC valve down first, and then we'll get the sample. Sanchez, close this door. I'll cover you. Offline, putting it on now. Ah, come on. They've escaped. Looks like they're heading towards you. <laughs> Got it. All right. How are we doing? To talk. Yeah, almost there. Come on, Jeffrey. They're there in 20 seconds. Oh, no pressure. Thanks, Celeste. Door to the computer system. The ONBs are approaching from the south. We head to the north elevators. Good, let's get that as fragile. Come on, move! Head to the south elevators, and we'll open that bulkhead. Raven, secure the elevator. Get ready to leave. We're gonna make a stand here, lock and load, and get ready. Jeffrey, get ready to get your sample. Stay frosty. Disruptor's concussive force is stunning them and pushing them back. Jeffrey, get in and get a sample. I'll cover you. Landon, get him to the elevator. Move, move. Fire, light it up. Come on. Fire, 
was that, huh? I was told we were up against possible alien life on the nanometer scale. That was the ripping my team apart scale. Captain Jensen, the biology of these creatures is rapidly developing. Oh, yeah? Then why don't we rapidly kill them, huh? Hell, this place is evacuated already. Why don't we set the self-destruct for X-Lab and call it a day? Captain, we still don't know how to kill it. It survived fire, explosions, your disruptors. We don't know how to kill it. The only way to figure that out is to study them. That's right. Well, we have the sample. Let's study it. Let's figure out how to kill them. Right, how about this? The Alpha-1 bio lockdown is secure. The OMBs are contained on level 30. Let's figure out a plan to contain them permanently. And if we can't, we blow up X-Lab. OK. Two things. One, we do it right here. I don't want to chance this thing escaping or waste any time going anyplace else. And two, when it comes time to make the call, and it will come time, I make it. Fair. Fair. That's the deal. They're sensitive to sound. Don't know if that means anything. Well, maybe we can use that to adjust the disruptors. Oh, this is interesting. Their molecular density is fluid. How so? At their smallest form, they're the most dense. Meaning, when the Xenobot warrior's form is less dense than the swarm form. Yes. Well, that would explain their exponential growth when they ingest organics. They're puffing up by replicating themselves using organic material, decreasing their density, thereby expanding their surface area. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we use this to figure out how to kill them? Maybe. If their density decreases, the bigger they get, they weigh less by percentage. Like a balloon. When you blow it up, it floats. OK, all right. How do we use this information to our advantage? You said sound could hurt them? Maybe at the right frequency, but then that's going to take a lot of trial and error. What if we use sound that didn't hurt it? No, 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 no. Head in the wrong direction there, Doc. And what are you talking about? Acoustic levitation. By using opposing high-frequency sound waves, you create a standing wave. And you suspend objects in the pocket between the nodes. It's essentially anti-gravity. No. Mm -mm. I've seen the research. That's for small objects, much smaller than these Xenobot warriors. But we do things on a much bigger scale in the X-Lab. Now, you said that the molecular density is less at the larger scale, right? Yeah. OK, so we use these standing sound waves to create a pocket of anti-gravity and contain the ONBs. Okay, but how do we get them in these pockets? No, we don't. We build it around them. We have all the equipment in the X-Lab, and we control it from the command center. That's perfect. We can target level 30 and send everything down there into zero-G state? Theoretically, it will take a lot of work to get it up and running. We're going to have to reroute all of the power in the place, and that means starting up the massive MFCs. Microbial fuel cells. Those are powered almost entirely by organic materials. It would be catastrophic if the aliens consume that much. But yeah, but we need the power. If it works, the OMVs will be contained far from the MFCs. It's calculated risk. I say we do it. Any advantage we can get right now is going to be worth the risk. I'm going to need both of you to recalibrate the acoustic sound towers, because it has to happen simultaneously. Now, they're located in the three maintenance tubes, and they're all at a safe distance from the ONBs. OK, we'll get right on it. Tell you, this code will get you past security and enable you to rewrite the power. Yes, sir. OK, listen up. Once the xenomorphs are floating, we can put on mag boots and check them out. If they're contained, great. If not, we take them out. Understand? Hey, Doc. You think we can bump up the power on these disruptors? Yeah, based on Celeste's findings about the sonic sensitivity, I'll be able to make the adjustments for you. Okay, as I set the coordinates for Beacon X, I'll need you to adjust the physical transmitter to coincide. Okay, ready when you are. Be careful. These are high-frequency acoustic horns. While we can't hear their output, they can still temporarily affect our hearing if we make a mistake. Excellent. OK. OK. Just a moment. What? 
just remembering that night we got stuck in the lab at MIT. Remember that? Jeffrey, focus. Sorry. Inputting X coordinates in three, two, one, now. Ah! What happened? I can't hear you. I think I misadjusted the horn. Oh, okay, let's try again. Oh. Inputting X coordinates. Ah! Three, two, ah! one, now. Ah. Oh. Nice. Ah. Ready? You ready? What? You still can't hear me? What are, I, what are you saying? Of course, I remember that night. It's the night I fell in love with you. Inputting X coordinates in three, two, one, now. Okay, on to the next. Let's go. Okay, good. We have all three acoustic sound towers set. Returning to base. This adjustment will max out the power and should disable the Xenobots. Thank you, sir. However, that upgrade in power means that you can burn through your power cells quicker and you'll have fewer rounds. Understood. Got that? Pick your shots. Transducers and acoustic horns calibrated. Good work, you two. Thanks. Thanks. It's getting better. Talia, are we ready? Yes, sir. Main power has been rerouted, and aux power from the fuel cells is online. All right, Captain. You head down. We'll activate the acoustic equipment and generate the anti-gravity pocket. Yes, sir. Let's move out, boys. Now, just come here. Listen to me. This goes south. I need you to watch their six, OK? Copy that, Captain. Let's go. I'm going to need both of you to make this work. Celeste, you work with Talia, and you define the 3D space parameters. Got it. Now, Jeffrey, you're going to have to closely monitor the power requirements. On it. Defining parameters as follows. X is 12.4, Y is 22.7, Z is 11.7. Confirm. Ready, sir. We have consistent power. We're set. Talia, pull up the cameras on level 30. Yes, sir. Captain Jensen, can you hear me on your comms? I read you, sir. We are ready. On your mark. Copy that. Loud and clear. Activating mag boots, setting five. Hey, babe, I'd ease up on that setting if I were you. We're heading into a zero-G environment. These mag boots will keep us stuck to the floor. The enemies give you free floating. Anything above a five is going to hurt your mobility. I got it, Cap. I like them snug to the floor so I don't float away. You're a call, Bateman. Just realize, making it real sticky. We're on level 30. Activate the anti-gravity. Tell you, activate transducers and acoustic horns. Yes, sir. Director, massive power spike coordinating power management. 3D points holding. Field being generated. We've got an active anti-gravity matrix, sir. Captain, anti-gravity is online. Copy that. All right, stay alert. The enemies give you free floating. We're going to see if it's contained. Head back to command center. Do not, I repeat, do not engage unless I order. Yes, Copy sir. That, Captain. Stay frosty. Move out. Fluctuating. Divert more power from the fuel cell. Done. Hold your fire, 
Bateman. Captain, what are you doing? You were supposed to confirm containment. Just a little wildfire, Celeste. Won't happen again, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> On a lighter note, the disruptors that you have modified, Director, are working great. Not sure if it's killing them, but it's definitely stunning them and disabling them. Hold your fire. Copy that. What did you do, Dad? I maxed out the power and indexed the resonance. I wonder if sympathetic resonance is the way forward with a weapon. Wild power fluctuations. Losing stability. Crush back the power matrix. Reduce the field dimensions to those that are active. Done. Sending new coordinates to Utalia. Received. Active matrix holding. Power stable. Good work. Command OMBs are floating and contained. Excellent. Okay, reduce the anti-gravity pocket until we can stabilize it. Copy that. Diverting all power from the fuel cells. The anti-gravity is failing. Matrix failing. We're losing power. We must have clipped a power conduit in the blown wall. Prepare for anti-gravity matrix failure. We lost anti-gravity. Turn the boots off now. Fall back. Fall I'm back. Stop. Raven. Stop. Stop. Raven, turn your boots I off. I stand up too high. I'm stuck. Raven. Stop. 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 Talia, where's the remaining Xenobot? It used the crawl spaces below levels and ended up in... ended up in the massive MFCs below level 30. The Xenobots now have massive amounts of fuel to replicate. Wait, wait, wait. They could replicate now? Yes, and rapidly. Director Storm, I'm showing more life forms below. Ideas? People? Anybody? Ideas? Stand down, Director. I was taxed to save this facility and all the proprietary research, but at this point, I have no choice but to set the self-destruct. Stop the OMBs. One last chance to save the world. We have 10 minutes to leave here and get topside. We're all dead. Four cleared. Moving to the next one. All right, you got me? We got 10 minutes to get topside before this place is a crater. Landon, get me a path to the elevator, now! Yes, sir! Captain, you just don't understand the work that we do here. Listen to me, I don't care if the cure for cancer was in this room. We need to evacuate now. I lost half my team today. Does anybody else want to die here, huh? All right, all right, you're right. Talia, download everything out of the secure service, initiate burn protocol. Okay, listen to me. What part of the evacuate don't you understand? We don't have time for that. I need you and her in that elevator now. Why do we have to leave first? Do I have to tell him, hmm? Understood. Thank you, sir. Sanchez, I need you to get them topside. You take care of them, okay? Copy that, Cap. Here. I downloaded X Labs motion sensors to that tracker pad so you can monitor the Xenobot Warriors movements. Thank you very much, Talia. I can't lose you, Celeste. Don't worry, Dad. It's gonna be okay. I wish you were a better liar. Jeffrey, I'll secure the sample you collected. Can you download any data we gathered? Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Make it quick. Move. We made it. Time. Eight minutes. Oh, hell. We got 
that company. Look. They're gaining on us. And moving quickly. Yeah, they're gaining on us. We're gonna have to fight them. If they reach us in the elevator, we're screwed. I'm gonna have to pick the battlefield. You two, you guys gonna listen to me? We're gonna make it out of here safe, okay? Understood. Okay. Stop us at level 22. Okay. Landon, prepare for battle. Yes, sir. Okay, can you shoot? I pull the trigger. Good answer. All right, we're gonna create a kill zone. Landon, post up there. Yes, sir. You two come with me. One on either side. You over here. You over here. Now, we wait. Three, two, one. Maybe the tracker's not. Ceasefire! Ceasefire! Did we do it? No, no. Let's not celebrate too soon. Look, we just blew it apart. It's in some sort of a drunk cloud. How long will it take to recover? You know what? Let's not stick around and find out. We got four minutes before this place is a crater. Let's move. Oh, shit. Incoming! to get topside before the south truck blows everything to hell. You hurt. I'll live. You? Freaked out. Bless. Watch out! Lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. What's taking oh, so right. long? Stay here. Go that way, go that way. Come on, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, come on. No. All right, let's go. Move, 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 it's gonna blow. Let's go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Are you all right? Are you all right? What's good? Yeah. Good God. So much loss. How did you survive that? I can't believe it came to this. You all right? Yes. Yeah, Sergeant, get them to safety. Yes, sir. What happened to Captain Jensen? Didn't make it. He saved us. He was very brave. All right. Let's get you some medical treatment. Now you disrupt her! What? Just get rid of it! Shoot them! Get them inside! 
Get out there and help them! Go! Go! Get them to safety! We'll be right there! Go, 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 come on! Come there, I'll get them inside! Go, 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 let's go, go! Yes, sir. Not yet. Yes, sir. Where's my dad? The general ordered him to get him checked out in sick bay. We need backup. We need some serious firepower. Stand down. I'm on the phone with POTUS and the Joint Chiefs now, activating our response action. Well, at least they have a response planned. What's that? What's happening? What's happening? They're eating the dead. With that much organic material, they can spawn an insane amount of warriors. You need to see this. The Xenobots have wings now? Didn't they always have wings? No, 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 no. In ONB form, they could swarm using microscopic wings, but this is different. This looks like like ants growing wings so they can colonize new areas to feed and reproduce. Well, that's a scary analogy. What direction are they headed? Uh, west. Why would they be heading west? Food, water, they can clearly sense that something's out there. Los Angeles. How long till they reach Los Angeles? Los Angeles is 250 miles away. I clocked them at 80 miles per hour, so three hours? Understood. Three hours to prepare for a full Xenobot warrior invasion. Who were the scientists that first made contact? Myself and my wife. Uh, Dr. Celeste Storm Daniels, sir. Okay, I'm gonna need you to load into an alert air transport with everything you know about the Xenobiology. Also, the tech on your energy disruptors. I hear that's quite capable, am I right? <laughs> we're not trained for that kind of mission, sir. Let me ask you this, are you humans? Of course, sir, but good, then you're on our team. Now we have a plane standing by, wheels up for AFB. Edwards Air Force Base? Yes, we're gonna cut them off before they reach Los Angeles. CIC will stay here and we'll deploy forces from AFB within the hour, understood? Yes, sir. Edwards Air Force Base it is. Let's go. Dad, do you read me? Loud and clear, Celeste. Where are you now? Edwards Air Force Base. Plan is to stop the Xenobot warriors here in the desert before they reach Los Angeles. The Air Force has launched a full squadron of F-16 E-Strike Eagle fighters. Godspeed. We were able to have the cannon on the alert transport retrofitted with a maxed out disruptor. I wish we could do the same for the F-15s. Agreed. However, we outfitted the troops with max out handheld disruptors. Load up! That means you too, Docs. Gotta go. Let's go. All right, here we go! Celeste, be safe, I mean it. I will, Dad. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. I love you, Celeste. I love you too, Dad. I want a full status report on the evacuation of Los Angeles and a NATO response readiness report, ASAP. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. We have radar contact, bogeys 25 miles out. Maintain angles five. Flight commander, have red, blue, green, and gold flights go live with WEPS. Blue, green, and gold flights copy, squadron leader. Roger that. Clear to engage target. Bogey's 10 miles out. Blue, flank left. Green, flank right. Gold, ascend angles 10 and fall back to clean up. Copy. Blue, flank left. 
Green, flank right. Goal to Angeles 10. Good hunting, squadron leader. Five miles out. Mother Tally a huge amount of bogeys. Four o'clock low. Target rich. Unleash hell! Squadron leader, do you copy? Squadron leader. Squadron leader, do you copy? Gold flight, descend to Angeles 5 and... What happened? Sounds like... They're gone. Celeste, come in. What happened? The entire squadron was devastated within seconds. We're on course to intercept their path and engage in... One minute. Charge the disruptor cannon. I'll be modifying troop deployment and placement. That's easy. All troops everywhere. Director Storm, while we're in pursuit, can you and Talia work up an analysis on the Xenobot Swarm using fluid dynamics? Maybe if we can figure out if there are any patterns to how they interact collectively, then we can target them as a swarm. Good job, you two. I'll get that analysis back to you ASAP. It repeats. Well, why hasn't that happened before? I don't know. The OMBs are evolving at such a fast pace. Maybe this is something new for them as well. That's good. Maybe we can use this against them before they know it. Is this some type of echolocation? I'm not sure. I'll separate the waveforms. We're losing! Damn it! They're gonna tear Los Angeles apart. What do we have? Give me anything. Give me something. We're working on the fluid dynamics model. Give me the field scientist now. You're on with the general. General? What have you got for me? We believe they're using some sort of echolocation to help guide them. Anything with the fluid dynamic model? Yes. The model indicates that the external input is no, while massive determination is being generated autogenously. What does that mean? It means they're deciding where to go. They're not being affected by an outside influence. They're intelligent. OK, well, I've killed a lot of smart enemies. What do I got to do to kill these Xenobot warriors? Director, if they're nanobots, albeit organic, then they have a rudimentary electrical system. That means there must be some way to disrupt their electromagnetic field. An EMP general scrambled their electrical systems. Yes, yes, we have electrically hardened aircraft that can deliver tactical EMPs. Also, the alert transports are hardened as well, so you won't be affected. I'll find an easier way to upgrade the disruptors and implement the forces wide. We'll see if we can decode the echolocation while General Bennett calls the strike. Incoming! Gotta go. The disruptors have no effect! Get back inside now!
Dad. They're all dead. We're surrounded by Xenobot warriors. Keep firing! At least it stuns them and maybe we can get some help. According to General Bennett, the MP is inbound. Be prepared. Prepare how? It worked! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! Celeste, are you all right? <laughs> We're alive. adapting nothing we're doing is working we just sped up their destructive evolution the mp just made it worse i'm getting reports of alien spaceships forming all up and down the california coast even where there was no emp that makes no sense we've been hit the OMBs are weaponized they're eating their way through the armor of the transport Eating through the metal? Get us out of here! Damn it! They got to the engine! Move over! Move over! You can't drive us away from the ONVs that are eating through our transport, Celeste! No, not drive us out! Get us out of this transport! Why didn't you just say that? You should know what I mean! We don't share the same mind, Celeste. Nanobots share the same mind. They have a hive mind. That's why all the ships appeared at the same time. They're communicating together. Maybe if we could disrupt their communications, we can stop them. With the right frequency, we can affect all the Xenobots at the same time. Okay, I have one sample left. Let's test out your theory. If it works, we can test it out on the hive minds. Hurry up! Okay. Come on, hurry! When you have the frequency, we can transmit it from here using the emergency broadcast system around the globe and hit them everywhere at once. This is taking too long. Hey, you can do it. You're one of a kind. Yeah, and I'm looking for a one of a kind frequency. I only need one frequency. <laughs> I can't test everyone, but... I can isolate the frequency that they're using for echolocation and use it as a carrier wave. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Hurry! They've gotten through! I, I don't see anything. That's because they're too small. Oh, on. They're eating me alive! Come on, come on! Ah! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Ah! Yes! Hurry! I got the frequency. Sending to you, Dad. Got it. Received and transmitting across the globe, Celeste. <laughs> You did it! You two saved the world. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, okay. 